Greetings and good evening, everyone. Welcome. Hold on, I'm having some technical difficulties today. Um, let's go live over here. Amen. All right, and we are together. Welcome, welcome, and welcome to day one of the Summer Sipping Series. I am so excited that you are here. You see, I'm ready, honey. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? I certainly am ready. So today we are going to make, have you ever, do you like sangria? I love sangria. Okay. Certain sangrias, but this is a very, 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 very special sangria because it is made, it's an herbal tea sangria. You ever thought about putting tea with sangria? No, I didn't either until my creative juices got to flowing and I came up with something very special that we are going to make tonight for the summer sipping series day one reality cocktails and mocktails tonight is a cocktail so in case you don't know who i am this is your first time interacting with me i am dr michelle i am the chief creator and founder of Freeality. Freeality is a premium loose leaf herbal tea company that has special blends to release stress recharge health and some even reignite romance yes it's all about creating a stress-free reality one cup at a time. And in tonight's case, it's one cool and common cocktail at a time. All right. So what we're using is Release Recharge. Okay. Release Recharge. And Release Recharge is hibiscus space. I love Release Recharge so much. This is my baby. This is the eldest child of the Freeality family. Um, she was the very first blend that I ever made. And how she was created was because, actually, I was in experiencing so much stress in my life. Have you ever been in a house full of people and you feel alone? Um, you didn't feel supported. And the people who loved you were actually creating, you felt like creating more work and more stress for you. Yeah, that's where I was. That's that's the situation that I was in. And one day I was just kind of chilling out, contemplating life, like, girl, what's going on? Why are you here? And some herbs came to me, just like I'm a meditating woman. So they just came to me. I wasn't even in meditation. I wrote them down, not knowing what they meant, what they were for. And a few weeks later in meditation, I was um, the message came through that I was to put those together. And I did as a tea which is in here, and I sipped on it. Girl, that is good. And with every sip, things just began to ease and calm, even if it was just for that moment. So that's what we're going to use to make this, um, this sangria, okay? And the reason, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm using, you can use whatever fruit that you want, but today, what I'm using, some apple, okay, some raspberries. I wanted blueberries, but honey, the blueberries was looking a hot mess. And of course, we're going to add some lime, all right? Um, what makes this tea sangria different with the release and recharge is because what makes it so common and soothing is it's hibiscus base, so it pairs very well with the red wine, is um, there's rosemary in this. And rosemary gives you a sense of calm and ease. It um, soothes and eases anxious feelings. Um, even with aromatherapy, like smell it. Smell this. Honey child. There are rose hips in here, which are excellent source of vitamin C. And vitamin C is really great for, um, it's really great for, lowering or stabilizing cortisol levels are stress hormone okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to take the um we're going to take the apples okay let me move over some so y'all can see we're going to take the apples and we're going to put them in here i'm not making a really big batch because i'm not making this for people but honey you make this for a cookout you're going to be the hit of the cookout they're going to be like, oh, it's just some sangria. No, baby child, this is a Freeality sangria. That's different, all right? That's different. That's not the same thing. And then if you have a muddler, fine. 
but you can also use a wooden spoon. Woo, see how I fumbled that baby child? The juice came up at me. <laughs> okay, woo! <laughs> if you had some aggression from the day, yes, you are gonna get it out. This is happy hour. You don't have to wait till Friday or Saturday to go to happy hour. You can have happy hour any day of the week. And see, the thing about it is with this type of happy hour, it's healthier. Okay, so I'm just muddling these apples and then I'm adding the raspberries. Okay, we're going to add the raspberries to this. And we're going to muddle those too. Okay, and see muddling, it really enhances the flavor of your, um, who is that? Hey, Dr. Lakeisha, Girl, somebody else, but y'all, you know, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see the little font on the devices. But when you muddle the fruit, it helps it create its own juice and releases even more of its essence. So the flavor will really be in that thing. Now, um, this is a quicker way to do it, but I actually like this better for those of y'all. I'm going to go on telling myself real quick. So I'm a proud um, graduate of um, Xavier University of Louisiana, XU, uh, in New Orleans, Louisiana. And there's something that we used to make. We called it PJ. You might call it something different. And we would take the fruit and we would soak it, soak it in Everclear like overnight. Yeah, I was that person. Still graduate magna cum laude, okay? Balance, baby, okay? And um, then the next day, we would take that fruit and add it to some fruit punch and add some more liquor. And I remember the cherries were lit, like those cherries. Woo, baby shout. Okay, this is good. So next, we are going to add some red wine. Now, I got this rosé. The thing is, when you're making sangria, honey, don't spend a lot of money on the wine, okay? Don't do that. Get some little um, cheap brand. You can get a two-buck chuck. It's not even $2 anymore. It's probably three-buck chuck by now. But don't get your fine, you know, like a South African um, Syrah or a, a nice Argentinian Malbec. You don't want to do that. Get something cheap. So then we're going to add this red wine. Actually, you know what? I want to add the tea first. So this is what I did, y'all, just so you know. I took the release recharge tea and I put about a tablespoon in the empty all 100% cotton tea bag that I get on Amazon. Okay, see that in there? And I made it like regular tea. And then I sweetened it because, child, that's good. I almost don't want to make the sangria like this stands well on its own. But I'm going to go ahead and add the tea to the muddled fruit. Okay. I'm not going to add it all just because I want to save a little bit for myself. I'm going to warm this up later and that's going to be my um, relaxation ritual for the evening. Okay. And then we're even going to stir it up a little bit. We're going to stir it up a little bit. Okay. Next, um, next we're going to add the wine. Now, if you were making this for a cookout or something like that, well, honey, you would use this whole bottle. You might even use a couple of bottles, and that's just fine dandy because you can do whatever you want. If you are G&G, &G, good and grown, it's your happy hour. It's your healthier happy hour. You can do whatever you like. And then I have this nice, beautiful lime. Now, let me tell you something. Whenever you're using limes um, or lemons or... Um, we might even do something with a grapefruit, fresh grapefruit. Then before you juice it in order to get the maximum amount of juice out, you want to roll it. You want to knead it, honey. Knead it. Okay? Like dough. Some of y'all may not be so domestic, so you don't know about that. Okay? But make sure you press both ends. Okay? Make sure you press both ends. And when it's nice and a lot more supple, OK. Oh, here's a tip for you. When you're buying limes, then get when you pick the limes, get the ones with the thinner skin. They usually have more juice in them. OK, not the thick skin, the thinner skin ones. OK, so next we are going to and I don't even have a, a you know, the little squeezer thing. So I'm just going to do it with my hands and it is OK. So we're going to cut it in half. 
and I'm gonna cut it that in half again. So then it's a fourth, okay? And then I am going to add that. Add that to the picture. I'm going to do just a half, so this is the other quarter, okay? Doesn't that look delicious? Yes, it smells so good. Limes are so fresh and refreshing. I love it, honey. I love it. Okay, now let's stir it up again. Let's stir it up again. And now from there, you can... You can, um, sometimes I add a little seltzer, uh, but most of the time I add maybe a little ginger beer just to give it a hit, but I'm going to do something else. We're going to level this thing up today. Here is some prickly pear flavored vodka. I want y'all to smell this. It smells so good. You have to smell this. Mm! Smell this. Don't that smell good? Smell that. Don't that smell good? Oh, yes, baby child. Now, y'all going to ask me, talk to Michelle, how much should I add to that? Whatever you like, honey. You add as much to you feel it, okay? Um, I got work to do, so I'm not feeling so much. But um, oh, that's, good, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. And then we're going to stir it up again. All right, let's get our glass. I should have had this out, but that's all right. I'm gonna pour this. Salud. God, this is good, baby. Mm. Mm. All the flavors. I can taste the release recharge tea. I have the apple. I can taste the lime. I can taste the raspberry. I can taste mm, the prickly pear vodka. This is very lovely, honey. This is very lovely. This is what cooking for reality is all about. Y'all over here on Instagram, y'all can't see this because the screen is too small. But I'm going to show you. This is my latest book, Cooking for Reality, Wellness Teas, Tonics, and Tales for a Stress-Free Reality. And there is even a whole chapter in here. Let me find the sangria one. Mm. There's a whole chapter in here that's all on cocktails, tea cocktails specifically, honey. We don't do anything regular. We don't do anything basic. And it is the R&R &R sangria, R&R &R sangria, because after you drink this, baby, you're going to be experiencing some release and recharge, some rest and some relaxation. And here's the thing that I want you to, to know. Okay, I must say this. During this summer sipping series, and you will we will meet here every night at 7 p.m. EST, and we'll make either a cocktail or a mocktail with a different tea. So today's feature is release recharge, which is hibiscus space, and you can get that at freeality.com. <clears throat> if you want reminders for when we're going live, then I want you to register at sip. Freeality.com. That's sip F R E E A L I T E A dot com. Okay. And um every night we're gonna do a different blend of freeality. Okay, a different blend of freeality. But let me say this. I gotta take another sip because this is some good. Do you hear me? This is some kind of good. Mm. Baby. Um, it is a healthier happy hour. And the reason why some people are like, well, how am I supposed to get the health benefits of tea if you put in with liquor? Like it needs to be one or the other. Honey, you can have one or the other. But if you don't want to choose, you can do both and blend them together and let them marry one another. Because here's the thing. 
Sometimes I make customized herbal tinctures for people. And in order to make an herbal tincture, the premise is that you are taking the herb and you are drying out the pure essence of it. So you don't have to drink multiple cups of tea. You can just use a few dropperfuls. But it's a process in order to create that. And the process, depending on how thick the herb is that you're using to make the tincture, will determine how long it needs to sit. And what do we do to you? To uh, what do we use to make a tincture? Baby, we use liquor, okay? Fermented drink. I typically use um, Bobbincore rum, which is a very strong, very high quality, that's some good rum or some other kind of Caribbean rum. Okay. You can use a very good quality um, vodka. You can even use Everclear. And then once it has sat in a cool, dark place and you have agitated it and put your love and your energy on it and the intention for which it is being made, then that's when you strain it and you are able to use it. So there isn't necessarily a either or you can use the other conjunction and okay you can use the other conjunction and for herbal teas and fermented drink okay and liquor wine whatever you want okay so i hope you have enjoyed today we usually go live at this time for free reality time talk with dr michelle but this week is extra special because in exactly two weeks we will officially be starting the summer um season and i want y'all to be ready honey i want you to have something that you can come home to um that meets all of your goals of rest relaxation recharge and also delicious okay delicious who wants to do something um that's good for you but it's not a pleasant experience baby child this right here this is a pleasant experience. Mm, 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 mm. So if you want to follow along with us with recipes and get your tea, you can go to tearecipebook.com, tearecipebook.com and get your copy of Cooking for Freeality. And you'll also have an opportunity in doing that by getting the, um, the Tease Me Pack. Yes the tease me pack that has a it's a sampler of the five most popular freeality blends and we're going to be using all of those this week for the summer sipping series all right y'all so that's it for tonight until tomorrow same time same place i want you to be well i want you to do something absolutely well and wonderful for yourself that will allow you to release, recharge, rejuvenate, relax. So tomorrow you will wake up refresh. Yes. So it's Dr. Michelle of Freeality, F-R-E-E-A-L-I-T-E-A.com. It's all about creating a stress-free reality. One cup. One cocktail, one dish at a time. Mm. Until tomorrow, good night. Mwah!